Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pups here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing those Cyber Monday deals that you could have took advantage of yesterday on Monday, uh, of the Cyber Monday going on, and we're going to be talking about the stuff that will be ending in just a couple days that you need to take advantage of from this event week, because again, it was a very nice event week that Rockstar has planned for, you know, the Thanksgiving week into after Thanksgiving, and we're going to be talking some more about questions regarding the Panthers status and so much more, so let's get right into today's video. So let's focus on those Black Friday sales that actually ended yesterday that you could have taken advantage of and actually end it on Cyber Monday. And if you don't know what Cyber Monday is, it's basically where it's basically a second part of Black Friday, but it's all online. So again, Amazon, Walmart, Target, they all have exclusive sales that you can take advantage of on that specific day all day long. And again, every year for the past couple years, Rockstar have done a like Black Friday sale slash Cyber Monday sales. And again, this lasted from November 26th, that Friday, to November 29th. And basically, it was 40% off all yachts and renovations, 50% off the RO86 Holoconist. You had the Avenger, the Deluxo, the Presser Mark II, and the Oppressor. So hopefully you did take advantage of those sales right there. Again, the Presser Mark II was the very best of the sales just because it was weaponized. And I know a lot of people, you know, want the Oppressor Mark II because, again, it is good to battle in GTA V online as well. Remember these Pacific, you know, uh, double... RP and money, these sales will be ending on early morning Thursday. So basically, you have two days to, you know, if you want to do this double GTA Cash and RP stuff. Again, it is overtime rumble, adversary modes. Again, that is the, one of the best adversary modes, in my opinion. Again, it is fun with friends. Again, basically, if you want to know a generalization of what you're doing in this adversary mode, basically, it, it has targets. Basically, one through five points, and you have to land your ruiner on the you know targets and again the other team can knock you off again you go down a ramp again is so much fun again I suggest you do this uh, until uh, early morning Thursday again you have double on car crash again and double on a super yacht life missions again also you have an unlock that you will actually can receive if you do log on uh, for these couple days, again, you still have the still slipping friend tee that you can unlock. And then, of course, you have the Kyo Preco Heist unlocks. Again, if you complete any prep mission this week, you can get those orange glow shades. And if you complete the finale, you can unlock the orange skull, a miss mask. Again, that is very cool as well. And don't forget, we have a podium vehicle on the podium list this week. Uh, week and that is the prize ride of uh, you no know, the podium vehicle is the Rizno and then we have the prize ride the ZR350 sorry about the confusion on this and basically don't end up trying to get top five in the pursuit races for four days in a row because that is now ended you would have had to start that last Thursday so if you count Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday that is four days, so basically you cannot do it Monday through Wednesday of the event week. Again, sorry about that. So basically, going on to the free money that we also got for this Black Friday uh, event week and Thanksgiving, again, that $500,000 bonus, again, that should actually be coming to your GT Online account any day now. Maybe you got it yesterday on Cyber Monday, Monday. Maybe you got it here on Tuesday. Or maybe you're going to get it Wednesday. Again, who knows. But again, it should start arriving either December 1st or 2nd. Because again, Rockstar did promise that we should get it by December 2nd. Now, regarding the stuff that is going on with the Kyo Preco. Again, people always have questions when the Panther statue has come out and remember this is only the second time we actually got the statue so again someone on the GTA form site actually uh, Tez responded to and they said so you can only pick it once and Tez says yes a one-time guarantee chance not a part of the RNG like other loot if you want to steal it again join someone else's heist 
Technically, this will be your second time to steal the Panther statue if you already stole it from the previous event Rockstar did a while ago. So yes, here's the clarification here. Again, Rockstar did not bring the Panther statue out uh, the first time. Again, it was a while since we you know waited for it in the drip feed of the Kaiaprico, but now again, it is back for the second time. And basically, when you do that scope mission, again, you are highly you will get it on your first chance and if you want to do it again just to get a little bit of money from your friend again you will have to join someone else's either random or a friend but again technically that would be your second time to steal the panther statue if you have done it in the past when rockstar did it so again thanks for tez on clearing up on that and again hopefully that does clear some of the issues been going on because again some people think you can keep on doing it through the event week no again rockstar is not going to allow you to get all that money in one try now moving on to something that i saw that some people might agree on and some people might disagree on is where g2 online is going in the years to come again it is not going too well in my opinion and again we heard from ted's funds too on the gta forum site and he said this the other day the business model behind GTA Online is the reason why the cycle of gameplay is repetitive as hell. Nowadays, I only bother looking up to the new update and content for the thrill of the gameplay in action. The chance to experience them for the first time. I have 40 million in the bank, that's Sukaya Prico, and I don't even bother purchasing all the new vehicles Rockstar releases. Same case happened with RDR Online, that's supposed to take advantage of the new tech. It shortly declined and faced the same problem GTA Online is facing. Rockstar can't even keep up the pace and try to push new updates quick, much quicker to force people to buy gold bars. I would hold hope something will change, but after all these years, I no longer care. 90% of the time is spent checking the forms and 10% in playing the game once or twice a week. The bumps up to 20% once a new update is out. And I highly agree what Tez Funds 2 said here. Again, G2 Online is not going in the right direction the community wants to. Again, it is really getting repetitive as hell as I think again too again the only thing we really got to look on is two updates a year one in January or December of the winter update and then one in the summertime again those are the two big updates and all other else we get in G2 online is the basically the drip feed content or the event weeks I should say again usually back in the day Rockstar had like two three updates coming out a year maybe even four and again Kyle Prico was one of the big things that people got their money on is Kyle Prico now they don't know what to do with all this money because nothing is coming out and I really agree on that as well now for the rocks uh, Red Dead Redemption side of this uh, repetitiveness again I'm not sure about that again I believe the updates for Red Dead are now getting very slim I don't play Red Dead online I just played the story mode on it online and I'm not even done with it again I know that I've just been busy with T2 online again I don't really focus but who knows if the Rockstar team or Take2 Interactive will you know make a you know significance to get back on the updates but I believe it is all Take2 managing Rockstar and what Rock Rockstar does but again I want to hear from you in this comment section down below what do you think of what Rockstar is doing with these updates and the content you think G2 online is getting boring again I really agree on what Tez Fun Stu has to say. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Online, oh, to the GTA Pupster channel like this. My name is Puppier, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.